tweet itself, and he did a video um, ranting about this, and it was a very entertaining rant, and he made some good points. Um, I definitely feel like... What's going on, Hammerheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I don't know, I decided to do, because I have all these pops still here from the Vive stream, the Mega stream, that I wanted to do maybe a collection review of some of my uh, pops. Normally, I don't do collection reviews because I feel like they're kind of tacky. Um, they bring viewers and subs, but I feel like they're tacky because I'm an idiot. Anyways, I'm going to go over... Um, how many we got here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. We're going to go over the 11 Funko Pop ad icons in the collection. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. I'm also going to give you how much I paid for them if they were actually logged. Hopefully they were. So let's get into it from the least valuable to the highest valuable. Right now, so this is the top 11 ad icons. I'm only missing a few, literally. So let's go. Alright, so starting it out, the ad icons have become the biggest hype in the history of pop collecting ever. Every Wednesday, every Friday, everybody wants that newest uh, ad icon that's going to pop up and be able to uh, flip it and trade it for value. It's literally called Flipping Wednesday or Flipping Friday. It's unbelievable. Unreal. Unreal. It's, it, if they post anything, it usually gets sold out. Except the Dorbs. Remember that. So... Let's go over these uh, least valuable ones to the highest valuable ones. I own a majority of them, and uh, I'm going to tell you what I paid for them. I did, um, eh, whatever. Let's start it out. They're great! Starting out at the least valuable one, and one of the pops that I actually just gave away for my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, during that mega live stream, right afterwards, we had reached over 3,000 subscribers, and we were able to send this pop. Um, well, he already has it now, and it was the Flock Jet Free Pop. We won it on eBay. It came to a total of $55, even though 50 was the limit. I didn't care. I wanted to win it for him. And we got ourselves our own Flock Jeffrey Pop. I paid about 23 bucks off it. I got it off the Funko shop. So this was the Flock Jeffrey number 12 in the line. Eh, eh, eh. I don't see too much value for this one right here. I can see it always being around 50 bucks though. So let's slide this one to the left. Slide them to the right. And slide them out of the way. Next. They're great. Well, well, well. We'll start with you. Hey, Rabbit. Tricks are for kids. This guy's valued at what? $66 hairs. I was able to get him from my buddy Jason Grohoski. I got this pop and the others in this actual series from Jason Grohoski. He literally lives in the uh, Body HQ and uh, works down the road from there. He got me $200 worth of value. I got him a bunch of... Freddy Funko's Ghostbusters, two out of the three for him. So uh, it was kind of an equal trade, I would say, when I saw him at the uh, Emerald City Comic Con. But we got the Trix Rabbit. Trix are for kids. Uh, number 10 in the series. His value is what? $66 hairs. I was told recently by Punky that the reason these circles here, you see them on the back? Remember as a kid, you were able to see these as their fruits? Remember they used to be all fruity, like they'd be banana, it'd be like a watermelon, a cherry. And the reason that is, is because we're adults now and we can't see that. It's pretty remarkable and interesting, because I remember those always being in shapes of little, uh, little fruits. And because we're older now, we can't do that. So, our second pop on this list is Tricks the Rabbit. Next. They're great! And also coming at $66 is the Lucky Leprechaun. Woohoo, Lucky Charms himself, buddy. He comes in at $66 as well. He's uh, number 11 in the line. These guys were released in 2017. Ah, <sighs> man. I've been picking up these guys nonstop. I'm only missing uh, 
like a few of them and you'll see which ones I'm missing and I'll talk about them at the end. So for 66 bucks, we have Lucky the Leprechaun, Lucky Charms. To the side he goes. And who's next? They're great. All right, coming in at number, the fourth pop on the list, and that is the Jeffrey Funko Pop with the gold sticker. The value of this is only 80 bucks. This Jeffrey and Joffrey and Toys R Us Pops are by far, they are overhyped like a champ. Damn, damn, damn. 80 bucks for this bad boy. He used to go for a lot more. I paid $10 for this. Actually, a month before Toys R Us actually closing, we got this thing for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Jeffrey, 80 bucks. I can see these guys dropping him going down to 60, uh, 50 bucks as well because he's the same number too. So it's not that hard to actually have that in your collection. Um, when it comes to these Ad Icon Pops, I only want to collect what's actually in my collection. I try to keep it all to whatever the series actually is. If it's an exclusive, I'll keep it to the exclusive. If it's a common, I'll keep it to the common. This, and I think one other one, is actually like the exclusive. You could say this is exclusive. Um, I do not own like another lepre uh, Lucky uh, the Leprechaun, Tricks the Rabbit. I don't own the other ones of them, only because uh, I've learned to only choose one young man you only choose one because if you try to complete them all you will uh <laughs> you will never be a pokemon master that's for sure who's up next they're great and coming in at 90 dollars 90 dollars now bullseye i actually got this pop for like 10 bucks off of uh entertainment earth or underground toys from the uh from like two years ago and uh, he was on there. I picked it up to add it to my collection. He's from 2016. He was only like 10 bucks at the time. He is the ad icon for Target, the bullseye, obviously. Uh, his value is, huh, 90 bucks. Not bad. Pretty interesting. Honestly, if you take these pops out of the box, I think I've seen um, Bearded Pop Hunter do it or, or Jedi Patrol. And I was just like, uh-uh. These things look not as cool as you would think out of the box. I don't know because in box they look better because they got the sticker on the front. But these things out of the box, you would not tell anybody or convince anybody in the entire world that doesn't collect Funko Pops that that thing is worth 90 bucks. Whew, that's number five. Let's get to number six. We are rolling here, baby. Ooh. They're great. So when the hype for the Ad Icon started coming in and I was able to get a few of them from Jason Grohoski, I then decided to start getting involved with them. Started going out there and uh, purchasing them. This pop here, I paid $41 for it. I got it back in uh, October, to October 28th, 2017. Uh, the value of it is actually 90 bucks now, and I paid 41 bucks for it. It's the Fruit uh, fruit Brute, uh, number six in the line, and uh, released in 2017 as well. This is the hype when we started getting crazy, right? I do not know where his top is. It's somewhere over here with all these crazy pops. I paid again. I paid 41 bucks for it. He's now worth uh, 90. The pops are cool. I can see a flocked version of these, and... Uh, the hype for them just keep going up every freaking week now. It's insane. Or every month. Every every time there's a new one coming, there's a new one freaking going up in value. Which is uh, it's fun and interesting. So, um, I'm just going to leave that there. I'll talk about it at the end. Next, that was six. Pick up sticks. Boom. They're great. Next up, another pop I got from Jason Grohaski at retail price. It's number nine in the line. And it is Coco Puffs Sunny the Cuckoo Cock Coo. This is Sunny the Kaku, uh, number nine in the line. He is the third one part of that wave. They do have the cereal on the back. And uh, he actually looks pretty cool. I like this one. Uh, not more than the fruit berry one. He looks pretty cool, too. Eh, they're all pretty cool looking, I guess. Don't take them out of the box, please don't. Um, I wish they uh, Funko added like a little insert in the back. Like maybe just a bowl of cereal insert. That would have been pretty cool. It only cost them about 0 0.2 cents. And uh, 
This was when um, I bought these. I decided to pick these up. Got them at retail, which was nice. Honestly, I'll leave that to the end of how I actually feel about like these pops in general and the hype for them, which is crazy. So at number seven on this uh, so far, we have the Sunny Dakako. Yes, that's how I'm going to say it. Next. They're great. Ooh. This is actually possibly one of my favorite ones actually as well. This is um, Yummy Mummy and I paid, let's check it out real quick. I paid $49 for him and he is now valued at 106 bucks. He is pretty cool. I like him, number seven in the line. Uh, there's only him and Fruit Berry in the back. These guys are limited to 2,500 pieces. These ones are gonna go up for sure. These ones should be the highest, uh, second valued out of the ones in my collection. Uh, no, he's not, because of this Kakaku, which is interesting because these ones are the limited number ones. You would think these ones would be uh, the next ones highest in my line. Now, let's head over to the next pop here. They're great! Which is a limited edition number, and I paid $150 for one of them. And that is number eight. Frosted Flakes, they're great! Thought this pop was cool when it came out, interesting right away. I did not like the flocked version. I don't like any of the flocked versions, and I'm not a big glow in the dark fan. So um, that also moves my way into um, how uh, I collected these. Because when I think of cereal, if the guy was flocked, if like Trickster Rabbit was flocked and he jumped on my cereal, there'd be hair everywhere. And it just doesn't make sense. Maybe that's the reason why they're not worth as much. But, uh, uh, I got another theory now. I'm making a little video right after this, I promise. Um, these are from the Corn Flakes Kellogg's Popeye Egg Icon number eight. He was pretty cool, gotta say. Uh, we don't have anything like this ever. And this was like the, you know, the beginning of this whole hell that we live in now. And that is Tony the Tiger number eight. They're great. They're great. And then I have another one of those guys, which I paid $155 for. So, at the time of purchasing these Tony the Tigers and why I actually paid for them, was that I can notice a trend, because I like to do theories and follow, um, follow reasons why pops go up and down. And uh, I seen that this pop was selling at over $200 at the time on eBay. So where did I go to? Facebook and bought them at $150, $155. I was able to add two of them. Uh, I used that tactic. I recommend uh, all of you guys actually watching this video to use the same tactic, all 15 viewers of you, which would be nice. And uh, use it to your advantage. I'm supposed to have an interview with PPG or um, Hobby DB. Uh, they actually asked me to do an interview with them to they give me their story because I guess they've seen some of my rants. Now, this pop is 3,000 pieces. He has moved up in crazy price. What is his value now? $407. $407. Damn. That's $814 now. Damn, that was pretty good, huh? I have a reason why pops go up in value. I'm going to post right after this video, so check it out. <sighs> Let's move these guys to the side. I can't believe these things are all the way up there now. They're great! Now, let's bring in the last one. And let's give how much I paid for it first, though. And that is the Frankenberry 2011 480 piece limited pop. I paid $260 for this. Again, Jason Grohoski kind of flapped me on this. He, was, I, he had these pops to the side for me, so I went what I normally do, and that's buy all the damn pops. I added this metallic one that was released in 2011, extremely hard to find. His actual value on Stash Pete is $343. This was a 2011 release. There's Count Chocula and Booberry on the back with a Frankenberry. The Frankenberry and the Booberry and Chocula were all limited edition as metallic ones and not just just as common ones. Then there's a glow in the dark blueberry. That thing's like 4K. That's crazy. Anyways, I think it was even a chase figurine, which is crazy. This pop here is pretty cool. Um, 
It is valued on here about $343. I would value this pop around 500 and plus, to be honest, because um, I can just look at these sales real quick. Yeah, just like I said, that's why I value this at this price because there's only one sold on eBay. It literally says the only pop that sold was January 29th. And it was 350 bucks, and it was a buy it now. So I, you can't value this pop at whatever, $333 because there's only one listed. That is insane because, again, you can't value a pop like this that is only listed one time a year. Just like my Jam Master J, that shit is hard to find. It took me forever to find that thing. Even though I paid a $100 value more than what it was, what is I supposed to do? It is nothing else available and it was the only one posted for that year. Whew, that's insane, all right? I would trade this for the other three. I would take Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry for this one. Possibly the only trade I would actually do, which is pretty cool. And uh, these, uh, these are all of them. Let's bring them out. Come on down, folks. Welcome to the Hammer Show. <gasps> They're the shit. All right, you can see them all but the Frankenberry. Like I said, majority of these are... Uh, Collection videos when you do them like this is kind of tacky, so I just kept it that actual feel of it Like I would have rather preferred doing the lucky Coco tricks the rabbit all together and then reviewed that series It took them in a box individually, but uh I don't know. That's why I always see. I thought uh, you guys might like it. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. And my honest opinion of these things are they are overhyped Unbelievable now Like this Sunny the Coco one this pop right here is not even vaulted and still shows up in the stores or actually still on the market you can still pick them up in stores you just have to go to the Funko shop and they do this one little technique called uh, something I learned from speaking with uh, Fugitive Toys when I was hanging out with them and you know they just roll one out every once in a while they just roll one out just like that Toucan Sam we all know they ordered 10,000 of them Maybe 15,000 of them. That pop is going to be on the market for quite a while. I don't know when the hell they're ever going to retire it because they're just going to bring one or two out over and over again. And uh, you guys are just keep going crazy for them. I honestly am not going to pay more than what value they really are. Like these, besides these two, the other exclusives, I would only... I would say the value of them is sixty to eighty dollars tops. Sixty to eighty dollars tops. Every time there's a little bit of hype going on, these pops just go up insane because people are uh, uh, human, and it's just uh, natural to then want the other ones if you added one in the collection. Uh, the people who do not get these off the Funko Shop, honestly. Go fucking shoot yourself in the fucking face because I can't stand you. I hope all your pops burn in fucking hell. Honestly, all of you guys who fucking don't get one of these and complain about it, go fuck yourself because I am sick of seeing your comments on other people's posts. Uh, if it's a YouTube post, if it's on a Instagram post, if it's on a Facebook post, stop fucking complaining to the Funko people that you missed out on their shop because of their website. You think they give a fuck about your complaint and your comments and your, uh, sometimes I see racist comments on there, and uh, oh you all guys are fucking lucky I don't see you in life because I will fucking murder you all. Stop complaining if you don't get a pop. There are thousands of them. I own over 2,000 of them. There's no, I don't, I don't even care anymore how many pops I get. Stop complaining. I missed out on my first pop. Oh my God, it was my first one. Or, <laughs> I can't believe I took off of work for today just so I could go to the Funko shop and I found out it's a door. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't take it. I can't stand it. It's embarrassing, and I would punch you right in your face uh, easily. I'd just give you a pair of boxing gloves, and then I'd punch you in your face, and then I would say it was a boxing match to whoever tried to come over there and talk to me. Holy hell! I don't even know where that came from because it's a damn honest truth. Stop flocking, complaining if you don't get a pop that you want. 
that you're actually gonna want this because you felt miss out on and you don't even have it in your collection. How are you gonna bitch and complain about a pop? Oh, it's my first pop. I was finally gonna have it in my collection, but it's a fucking website down. Shut the fuck up. Honestly, I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I can rant for days about that topic alone, so I'm not gonna put too much in it. And uh, let's get the flock out of here. See you next time. Boom. Tacky videos get tacky content. I never even added to my collection. He wrote 70. I'm gonna say the least valuable one is definitely. Please over here, please God. Where is this flocker? Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. What's going on, guys? Um because I have all these pops out, fuck it. Can we call them? What's going on, Hammerheads? Eh, we can probably put this in cool looking like that. 